everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap, October 12th, Saturday, and this is the spot, and I still haven't edited and posted that video yet, but maybe it will be by the time you see this one, I don't know. Um, nice inside bend, I'm upriver quite a ways from where we normally work, this is on the private property, but nice inside bend, a lot of big boulders dropped out here, some nice crevices and bedrock right up in here. And look at this nice wedge that comes up in with all this material. And then of course, over in here on the other side of it, look at all this bedrock that can be broken out with all these nice seams and crevices. I like it. I did some test panning up there and got a few small colors. So be interesting to see what happens in this area. Kind of a tough spot to work, but that's what us gold prospectors do. So I'm gonna get set up somewhere here. I think I'm gonna try to get a setup for the gold trap right here and work some of this material and see what happens. Get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I started by, once I got this set up, cleaned out this area right here, working my way up. Nice little tiny pocket right there. Another pocket right here, and now a deeper pocket over here. And I've already pulled quite a bit of material out of there. So now I'm up to these broken pieces of bedrock here. Looks like they might have come from up above and, and stacked themselves, but I don't know. It kinda, it's kind of logical. But there is material in between them. But here's the problem. I've got to do a clean out because, once again, fall is a never-ending battle with leaves getting caught up on the classification plate and down inside I've got a leaf semi plugging the middle tube so that's where you have to keep pulling your box but luckily you don't have to lift it out of the water so that's a plus I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull the box here though but I'm gonna try pull the box dump it in there put it back in Another leaf gets in, dump more material. At the end of the day, I'll concentrate my concentrates and see what we get. Back in a bit. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do my second clean out. And so, hold on this material through again.
these 12 cars. So yeah, like I said, at least 12 colors in the pan. I haven't really done a whole lot. You know, I, it's not a whole lot of material. I mean, my tailings, there might be about two buckets, if that. So I'm working my way back up in here because any bigger gold that's below the point of this when it comes down it's going to hit this and it's going to drop right in here and it's going to stay. So that's why I chose this spot. Nothing too big. But I can't even see it in the camera. But there is gold here. Definitely. dug this right out pretty good. I gotta find a way to get that thing out of there because there's one hell of a pocket down in here. 
I mean, it's it's going down. And there's definitely gold in here, which I'll show you in a second. But that's uh, pretty interesting. Not too bad, huh? <laughs> Love it. Alright, so Pung's taken off. I just shot her up there walking through the woods. I'm gonna go back down to the other spot where the fault zone is and just run some mad material down there. At some point. Maybe in the spring, well, late spring, I want to come down back up here and really pick this apart. But I don't feel like messing with it right now. So I'm just going to get down and run material. So I'll catch you down there. Got to pick up all my stuff and hike down. Alright, so I'm pretty much, I'm done. Um, not pretty much. I'm gonna do a clean out here. I didn't bother shooting any footage when I came down. I figured I'd wait till the end. Um, last video, which to date hasn't been posted yet, I broke a bunch out here. A lot of material came out of there. Fairly decent gold. Hung worked up underneath this big boulder here. And today I punched it back even further there and this way and revealed bedrock. I'm scraping on the top of it now and this is all it's deteriorating bedrock and it's like mixed between bedrock and clay. It's all like and it's not dense clay. It breaks up really easy and there is gold in it. So I've taken this as far as I wanted today. I'm planning on coming back again tomorrow and probably for the next day or two after that possibly I do have a box I've got to build that's heading out to Utah but the guy says take your time so I'm gonna take advantage of this weather besides I'm waiting on some stickers to come so I'm gonna do a clean out and see what we get out of this material back in a bit and it is getting dark fast <laughs> unbelievable so I got a mini cornflake today, uh, well, here anyway. And it's pretty thick too. Mostly small stuff except for that one piece. That's, that's pretty good size. But that's not bad. Not bad at all. Ah. So, I'm definitely going to keep working this. That piece came out of here somewhere. I like it. I mean, you look at all these big boulders that are right here in a line. So, keep working it. I'm going to leave my dam and the plastic in the dam right in place tonight because like I said I'm planning on coming back tomorrow so it's not going anywhere I'd like to leave my box here but I just don't I don't dare I don't dare